What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to go over how to download, install, and activate Profit Trailer, the trading bot that I've been using. And I had a little bit of trouble setting it up, not too much, but uh, if you're not tech savvy, then this can be kind of a nightmare and you'll sit at it for hours and hours if you don't know how to code and you'll kind of get frustrated. Um, I had a couple of issues because I'm running on a Mac and a couple of the files were in a different format because of how it got downloaded. Um, I think they were, you know, whatever just happens when you're when you're on a Mac, file formats are a little bit different. The, the software that you're opening them in is a little bit different. So I wanted to make this video not only for Mac users, but for pretty much anyone who's trying to install this and doesn't fully understand how. So first things first, what you gotta do, you gotta go to Java, you gotta get Java 8. So this is from Oracle. Um, I'll leave this link in the description. It's self-explanatory, but you have to make sure that you're running Java 8U151. I don't know why um, I manipulated with the code a lot with Java 9, that's what I had installed on my computer, uh, it automatically updated to Java 9, so I turned that automatic update off and I uninstalled Java 9 and reverted back to 8U151, so I recommend doing that. I could not get it working on Java 9, so I don't know why. Um, it, for whatever reason, that's just how it is. So if you're on a Mac, go down here, download this JDK 8U151 Mac OS, you know, download that. You got to accept the license and you're good to go. If you don't know what Java version you're running, you can. if you're on a Mac, you can go to your little Apple icon in the upper left-hand corner and go to System Preferences, and it will pop up with a window that looks like this. And you can click on Java, and once you click on that, play around in there, and you can find out what Java version that you're running at this time. So if it's not here in your system preferences, then you probably don't have the right version. So I recommend going here and downloading it anyway. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, so second step, you're gonna go to profittrailer.com. I don't have a link to give you guys, like I'll put this link in the description. I don't have like a referral link. I'm not trying to push this on anybody. Um, I just had some good results with it so far, and if you haven't seen my video, I made a video just briefly going over like my day one and how that went. I went over the back office, kind of how it looks, so go watch that if you're still on the fence or you don't understand what this video is about. You can go look at that one, and it kind of gives you an idea of what Profit Trailer is. So once you're on the website, you can read through and you know do your thing or you can go to shop and you can buy it. So this is 0 0.03 to 0 0.09 Bitcoin um, based on what you buy. So each exchange is going to cost you 0 0.03 Bitcoin. So it depends on how many exchanges you have or you want to use this bot on and then, you know, or which one you want to use. So I chose Binance and, you know, you can read through down here, read through the reviews if you want. And then if you scroll down, you can see down here, you can see how to run um, the wiki. You can see the buy and sell strategies, the minimal requirements. You can see all the information. But yeah, basically you add to cart, you buy it, you send the Bitcoin, you wait for the confirmations on the blockchain. And then they're going to send you an email with a, an activation link or, or your code, right? Your, your license key. And so one thing I wanted to note is make sure that you check your spam folders because spam, it, it mine went straight to spam and I was waiting for an hour and I did not know where the license key was. The blockchain had confirmed the transaction, but I wasn't getting my license key. And then you have to have your license key to run the code. So with that, make sure that you check your spam folders. And then once you have your license key, you're gonna have to go on to Telegram and you can click this link and it'll take you to their Telegram page and then they have a, a Telegram bot that you'll activate your license key with. So yeah, with that, that's pretty simple. But anyway, we'll just go over the download and installation. So next, this is the GitHub. This is where you're gonna download the software. 
I'll leave this link in the description. And let me see here. Yeah. All right. So profittrailer.zip. This is the newest version, the latest release. You can read through this if you want to. It kind of just tells you what's new, what fixed, um, you know, certain things. But <clears throat> you'll download this and then you'll click it, you'll unzip it, whatever, and you'll open a file that looks like this. So to a lot of people who aren't tech savvy, they'll look at this and say, what do I do next? So what you do next is a couple things. First, you're going to open up this file and you're going to open up with a text you are using the text edit. So you go down here and you use text edit to open this. Okay. So let me get this window out of the way and I will show you what that looks like. So there is some sensitive information. So I decided not to show you, <laughs> but, um, this is where it gets a little tricky and you guys got to kind of follow along pretty well. So that, came from application.properties, okay? You open it up with a text and then you're gonna see all of this stuff. Okay, so you're you're not going to change much, but you're gonna put in all caps right here. You're gonna put the exchange that you used with no spaces at the end. So I used Binance. Okay, then your trading history, I think it's set to like one or two or three. You can change it to have as much as you want. Um, this will just show in your dashboard all of the, the trades that you've made in the past X amount of days. Okay, now here's where it is very important to get this right. So, you are going to go to Binance or to, to Bittrex or wherever. Is it Bittrex? I don't even remember. I'm going to have to check. Yeah, Bittrex, Poloniex, and Binance. So, you go to whichever one that you're using and you will go to a page that looks a lot like this, okay? And I guess it's gonna look like this first. You're gonna log into Binance, and you're gonna hover over this, and you're gonna click your account. It's gonna take you to a page like this, okay? Once you're here, you're gonna click on API settings, okay? That is gonna take you to this page. Now, I'm taking screenshots because this is sensitive information, so, I don't want everyone getting all my information, all right? Get over it. So here, you're gonna have an API key, and then you're gonna have a secret API key. And basically, what you're gonna have to do is, you're in order to get to these, you're gonna have to create one, and you just enter a label. So I entered Crypto Business Bot, and then I did Crypto Business Bot Key 2, okay? You just create two new keys, and it'll show up here. You'll have one here and one here, and I could show it, but I'm not gonna show you my secret key. And then you'll have another one here and another one here. So you remember that window. Where did it go? Where did she go? Let me pull it back up. Bear with me here, ladies and gentlemen. There she is. So you're gonna use this secret code. Now I got a I got a freaking mess on my hands here. Alright. Can you see that? I think you can see this for the most part. Jeez, this is a pain. All right. This API key goes default API key. It doesn't matter which one you use first, but they have to be used consecutively, okay? API key one, put it right here. Just copy and paste it. Make sure there's no spaces at the end. That causes problems. Secret key one, put it here. API secret key one here. API key two, put it right here. Secret key two, put it right underneath. Right after the, uh, like, give it a space and then right after the equal sign and then no spaces at the end. Once you're done with this, simply save it and make sure it just looks exactly like this except you don't have black boxes, you have API keys. Boom, you're done. Now you're done with Binance, okay? That's good news. Now, for the fun part, you have to go and Activate, so first, like I told you earlier, is activate your license via Telegram. That way they you know, have your license key activated. Next, what you're gonna do 
is you can fire it up. Once you, you have all this downloaded, you can fire this, this app up. So this is important as well. You're going to click on this open with, and this, remember this is profit trailer.cmd. If you are on a windows, you can just double click it. If you're on a Mac, this causes some problems. You can't do that. So you'll open it with other, open it with your text edit again. It's pretty simple. I'm getting the wheel of death. So then it pops up with this. Okay. You're going to open your terminal window. That's by going to finder and your finder looks like this. Okay. Type in under applications, type in terminal, double click on terminal. And what that's going to do is bring up a window that looks something like this. And once again, I'm not showing you guys because I'm paranoid. <laughs> Call it what you want. Anyway, it's going to bring up a window that looks like this. So this is once again, there's a screenshot. So it's going to look just like this guy. What you're going to do next, you're going to type in CD and this one is completed. So you're going to, this is the top line. It's very self-explanatory right after the dollar sign, you type in CD and then you type in slash users slash wherever, whatever your Mac name is, which will be underneath this and wherever your profit trailer zip folder, wherever you extracted that folder, mine is on my desktop. That's where you want this file path to go. So if you're on a, a Mac, this is very important because the GitHub information and the wiki information doesn't really give any explanation on how to set this up for a Mac. So these, these slashes are very important because this is a Mac uh, file path with windows and all the setup guides that they have. They're all, forward slashes and they have two slashes. So if you're on a windows, use your normal file path and then add another forward slash. For some reason, the software needs uh, an extra forward slash on a windows. So on windows, this slash is going to be the other way. And then your file path, wherever this is stored. If you're on a Mac, you can simply take from your desktop, you can type in CD space and then drag and drop this on top of your terminal window and it will give you the file path. Once you have that, you click enter, which will be right here. Nothing will be below yet. You click enter and then you have a new line. This is basically your file path. This is where your, your terminal window is now pointed. That's where it's looking for a file. What you're going to do next is what I showed a minute ago. You're going to click on this, open this profit trailer.cmd with text, copy this text, this first line, Okay. Paste it right after this dollar sign, paste it and press enter. Now, if you've done everything correctly and you have all the right system requirements and you've activated your license, uh, with profit trailer on their telegram, then what will happen is you'll see this spring boot come up and then it'll just start a bunch more code. will start, you know, populating your screen and you will be up and running. And that is how you do it on a Mac. And then if you want to get to the, whatever it is, the, um, the back office, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Your back office will look like this screen. If you want to get there, you're going to type in, let me, let me get this for you just so I can show you it's called localhost colon 8081 slash monitoring and let me go there so that's what it is localhost 8081 monitoring and this is my back office and if you've done it right this is what will show up and it won't be my back office it'll be yours and it will show you all of your profits for, or all the information. So if you want to know what this page looks like in more depth, go to my other video and it explains what the back office is, how it works, what you need to do to kind of optimize. And, um, you know, I go through all this stuff, all the sales logs and whatnot. So with that said, guys,
drop a like on this video, subscribe if you found this helpful. In the next video, I'm gonna go over uh, one of the add-ons that I made, or I didn't make it, but one of the add-ons that I uh, am using to help me like optimize profit trailer. And I'm gonna go through the setup of that and how it's really helped the bot <laughs> really succeed. So um, as you can see, I don't think there's any losing trades yet. Um, there's seven pages of trades and I don't have any red. It's been pretty crazy, even with the downturn of the market today, dropping you know $200 billion, still made uh, around 142 US dollars, 0 0.009 Bitcoin was was made. So that's that's crazy profit. And I'm not a financial advisor. I don't, like this isn't going to work forever or it's not, not necessarily it's not going to work forever, but that you're not going to profit forever but that's basically how you do it that's this is this is how you set it up and then you kind of just set and forget you leave it going and hopefully it profits but drop a like comment let me know what you guys want to see next and with that guys i'm out of here